Hey guys, my name is X Factor. I hope you're having a great day. And Apex Legends players across all platforms have some fresh new game modes, content, balance changes, and quality of life changes. We're going to cover all that, including showcasing the, some muzzle flash now that firing range has been added. First and foremost, you need to know from this point into the next two weeks, duos has been added as a new game mode. This is also a new game mode. This is firing range. This is not training. Training is still available. So right now, training is a separate mode from firing range, so make sure you choose accordingly. Firing range gives you the ability to load up with three other friends and be any legend at any point in time and have any attachment that you can imagine or even want. But be careful, if you drop something on the ground, it's gone. You need to go back to its original spawn spot and find it. Everything does respawn within a couple seconds, so if you're waiting for a gold barrel or blue barrel, it'll be there. Of note, there are purple targets scattered throughout the firing range. They have purple shields, purple helmets, and they are not fortified. That means 200 hit points is 200 hit points. They are not equivalent to Caustic or Gibby. For those of you who do not know, Caustic and Gibby absorb more damage than any characters in the game. They're the opposite of the lifelines and the wraiths, which take less damage in the game. And they respawn almost immediately. If you want to change your legend, act like you're backing out of the round. There will be a slight menu there for to change your legend, and you'll spawn back in instantly. This is a great way to figure out your weapons, your attachments, and how to manipulate and spray control and the damage reduction that you're getting at range. Obviously, at close, we're getting 28 headshots with the R301. Body shots are 14. If you land lower, there could be 12. If you're hitting a Gibby or Caustic, there could be even less than that, probably 10s or so. And of course, at range, right? So this is a way for you to test out your tap firing and all your different weapon combinations that you like. Maybe find a new burst fire pattern. Maybe finally be able to fine tune your spray pattern. As we all know, the R301 has been tweaked in the past, and that may or may not be in the patch notes. What was in the patch notes is a little nerfing and a little buffing. The wigman received a slight nerf again. We all know the skull piercer is gone. They kind of increased the base headshot damage on the long bow, aka long bro. And, of course, the wingman. Well, they brought the wingman headshot damage down just a little bit. It went from 2.15 to 2.10, which isn't a whole bunch. Didn't touch the longbow. Here you see me messing around with the scout. If you pay attention, we're changing the barrel attachments from no barrel to blue barrel to purple barrel. And what you're going to notice here is sometimes I'm not adjusting for recoil because there is a jump in the second shot. The blue and the purple allows you to shoot faster, more accurately. But what I found is within a few millimeters is they all jump about the same in between shots. It's just that resting fire in between bursts, right? The first and second, and then the third and fourth calms down a little bit quicker if you have a better, better barrel attachment. So here you see me not adjusting it at all. See how the first two shots kind of land? Okay. See how predictable that is? Easy to counter. Now watch the purple. Same spot, but the max recoil is less. So the shots literally go pretty much in the same two spots, but you can spam the purple more than the blue, which you should not be spamming the gray or no barrel whatsoever. So if you're using the scout, make sure you pull down just a touch. And at range, absolutely switch to single fire. There you saw where you could switch legends. And let's talk about the buffs. Kraber, Scout, and the Longbow have a bigger projectile now. So it's going to be easier, a little bit easier to hit headshots and, of course, body shots at range because those weapons have lead and drop. Here we're kind of showcasing the muzzle flash, which is a problem in Apex Legends unlike any other game. No attachment on either. And just so you know, it's not just the muzzle flash. It's the blowback coming out of the gun. If you want to call it smoke, whatever you want to call it, it's absolutely obnoxious. And a lot of this is predicated on where you're at. If you ever find yourself near a loot vault or a tunnel or a dark spot in the new map, it's absolutely atrocious. And what makes it worse is more than likely the other person is using a peacekeeper or wingman. They do not have that problem. While you're moving around strafing, here's purple bear. You can see it's reduced a little bit, not the blowback. The muzzle flash reduced a little bit. While they're strafing and moving, they can see you easily. 
but you can't see them. It's kind of a messed up balance dynamic, which according to the Apex Legends producers, they are working on, but it is not in this patch. Now, here you can see the gold boy. The gold boy actually reduces the muzzle flash quite a bit, and it isn't obnoxious vertically. Horizontally, it's absolutely fine, but it's when it creeps in that vertical space, it is at absolutely obnoxious and makes zero sense and here's worst case scenario right we've got the gold attachment we're in the darkest spot possible now you may be asking how's the flat line how's the hemlock pretty good how's the havoc and how's the devotion believe it or not it's actually worse than these two those muzzle flashes go completely vertical and on angle so if there's any sort of small frame character a lifeline a wraith Straping around, dancing all day with a wingman, and you're at that range where you really need to be ADSing or aim down sight, you're in a lot of trouble. So hopefully this gets fixed sooner rather than later. What do you guys think about Muzzle Flash? What do you think about the new additions? Pretty excited? As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you guys soon.